whenever you're in a dispute with somebody, a discussion with somebody, an argument with somebody, your spouse, and you're talking about, well, you know, what should we do with our money? What sh how should we solve this problem? What should we, and your spouse says, well, first of all, I want respect. That's a setback. <laughs> you think we're talking about how we're gonna move forward and the person you're arguing with is saying, well, before we do anything, before we move forward, I want respect. That is usually a step backwards. And I'm not saying the Dak Prescott Dallas Cowboys negotiations have done that. I am saying that when I uh, pay attention to my friend Jane Slater and her characterization of what's going on in negotiations right now, and we'll get to the, the actual money bracket in a moment, and it's a wow, I think. Let's do the respect thing first. Maybe it's the combination of those two things that is a wow for me. Mike Fisher reporting from Frisco, home of the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, from my home, the fishbowl, the respect, based on Jane Slater's report, she was on the Dan Patrick Show on Monday, the respect that Dak Prescott's side is requesting from your Dallas Cowboys would make him <clears throat> the second highest paid player at the position, the second highest paid player in the NFL, and the second highest played person, player in the history of football. That would be respect. I can tell you that the Dallas Cowboys' two years' worth of offers to Dak in contract talks, we are entering round three of this, as you know, in their mind has been all about respect. But Dak's side now wants something more. They want respect, according to Jane, in the form of a new proposal that would put the quarterback's salary, quote, right behind that of two-time Super Bowl quarterback Patrick Mahomes. Now, before you, before you get sticker shock, the phrase that the former agent Joel Corey used the other day, there is some room between uh, Mahomes at uh, 45 and Deshaun Watson, I believe at 39, there's some room there, but this solidifies that Dak Prescott wants more than Mahomes at 39. Um, I, I guarantee you Jane's right about that. There's no, Jane's absolutely right about that. We already kind of thought of the going rate as being 40, didn't we? And then Joel Corey came up with that three year, $41.5 million deal. So that part's fine. Now, how much behind Pat do you want to be? How far ahead of Deshaun do you want to be? Prescott, quote, looking to be paid right behind Patrick Mahomes, and then Jane points out, who's gone to the Super Bowl two years in a row. Something Dak has not done, not two years in a row, not one year in a row. Added my friend Slater. The Cowboys feel like it's been a respectable offer. And then she adds that Dak's side, repped by Agent Todd France, of course, feels that Dallas's cap problems with money aren't our problems. It's about respect. The, the, the cap challenge and whose responsibility it is, is a fascinating one. The first time it was really broached around here um, in very specific ways was in the Tank Lawrence negotiations. And both Stephen Jones and Tank came out afterwards after it all got done and Tank got his 20. And they both joked to how, how Stephen would say, well, you know, we got to fit all the pieces into the puzzle and you know that thing. And Tank would respond by saying, that's not my problem. That's the general manager's problem. That's the salary cap guy's problem. That's the sharp pencil, big calculator guy's problem. That's not my job. That's your job, how you fit it all in. I don't care how you fit it all in. On the other hand, you could care. You could say that 
that I want to help it fit all in. Uh, I hate to put this on players. Nobody's required to do what Brady did in Tampa and what he did before that in New England, uh, what Dirk Nowitzki did with Dallas, Tim Duncan did this with, with the Spurs, where they took a little less so other guys could fit in. Nobody's obligated to do that. I will say this about Tom Brady when he took less in New England, say, well, that's because his wife is rich. They're all rich. All the quarterbacks in the NFL are rich. All these guys we're talking about are rich. You realize, don't you, Dak is already rich. He's just going to get richer. Patrick Mahomes was already rich. Deshaun Watson's already rich. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, the day he's drafted, will be rich. It's just richer. So Brady still gave up money. Nobody's obligated to do that. I don't tell anybody what to do with their money. Uh, uh, you'll, you'll notice if you watch our coverage here and follow uh, what I do with Dak Prescott and the rest of the contract, I'm, I let you guys go, that's ridiculous. Dak, you should take, or, or Cowboys, you should give more. I don't do much of that. That's not my money. I'm just telling you. I just try to stick to the facts. And if I have an opinion, I hope it's fact-based. But here, let's just go with facts. Jane says it's about respect. I can confirm the Joneses' view on their series of offers. Two years ago, we reported that their APY offer was $30 million. And Stephen Jones told us that to the Cowboys, that represented, quote, top five quarterback money. That was not a lack of respect in their mind. Last year, as you know, we were the first to report the $35 million APY. Dallas upped its annual dollars offer by $5 million over the previous year. The Cowboys did not think that was disrespectful. Argue with them, if you will, as Todd France clearly is doing. But the Cowboys do not think that $175 million is a sign of disrespect. So, as you know, Dak last year played under the franchise tag um, of $31.4 million. This year he could do the same thing, make $37.7 million. By the way... If you make $31 million, see, people talk about, and I'm not taking a side here, I'm just doing the straight dope. People talk, well, they had Dak on the cheap for all those years. Not last year. He made $31 million. That's the highest single salary in Cowboys history by a lot. And this year, well, I mean, you know, the Cowboys are cheap. This year, they're prepared to Pay him $38 million. In fact, the preparation for paying $38 million is one of the reasons that I think there's wisdom in saying, oh, we're already paying him $38. Let's pay him 40 And 40 dollars now is what we know, based on Jane's reporting, at least what Dak wants. Chief Star Mahomes is the gold standard at the position, kind of like this show the gold standard of cowboy reporting. And I appreciate you being a part of what we do. Every day on the radio, every day in print, uh, and every day right here, about 22,000 of us now hanging out together, which I appreciate. By the way, the winner of the Emmett Smith bobblehead is Rob Wren. And uh, for the many of you clamoring to come on in and, and get in that, that fish community, all I got to do, there's a button right up there, and it says join. Just press the button, join. And um, Jim Laws and some other guys have volunteered, uh, Law Nation, everybody named Law around here. I'm surrounded by Laws. have all volunteered to help kind of uh, shepherd you. But it's a, it's a join button right there. Come on in. So Patrick is the gold standard. At the position, he's the gold standard at the pay window. His long-term deal represents $45 million a year. Long, long, long term, but $45 million a year. Based on Jane Slider's report, the respect that Dak Prescott is requesting from your Dallas Cowboys would be under $45 million a year, but over thirty nine. million. Now, how close is that magic number to 40? 
How close is it to 44? <laughs> All we know is somewhere in there, what Dak Prescott is asking of the Dallas Cowboys, if you boil it right down, four things make me the second highest paid player at the position, make me the second highest paid player in the NFL, make me the second highest paid player in the history of football, and give me some damn respect. Fish out.